you're an American who's now in charge of a football club despite possessing very little knowledge of the game. Oh! I know that AFC Richmond is going to give you everything they got, win or lose. Or tie. Right, y'all do ties here. Did you see that? He must be from England, yeah. Wales. Is that another country? Yes and no. How many countries are in this country? Four. You got no fear of the other dog. For me, success is not about the wins and losses. It's about helping these young fellas be the best versions of themselves on and off the field. I always figured that tea was just going to taste like hot brown water. And you know what? I was right. Yeah, it's horrible. Uh, no, thank you. Welcome to England. Nick, Brendan's Jeff again in Las Vegas. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Hey. hey. Well, Brendan, let me start with you. Uh, the gaffer, the pitch. I-, I thought I knew the English language before I watched this series. <laughs> yeah, they're <laughs> full of uh, sideways terms, you know, and they and they know the words we use, but uh, before that, they had their own words. I mean, you know, England had a pretty pretty big head start on English, so <laughs> you kind of have to let them have their way with it. And Nick, uh, Nathan fills in the coaches about football and the players, but he's abused by the players. But he starts to win them over over you know the course of the series. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of nice to have a a character that sort of you know changed a little bit uh, over the course of the season. And um, yeah, he's bullied a bit at the start, but you know they all get their comeuppance in the end. So yeah, he gets he gets his own back a little bit. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun to do that. And Brendan. What I love is Beard and Lasso are one mind. They, you could just see the friendship between them. Uh, I mean, the timing with you two was just amazing. Oh, well, thanks. Um, yeah, we, we've known each other for, uh, for you know, since, since a previous century. Um, and uh, we, were, we, we did not exactly, like, study everything together, but we came through the same kind of systems in, in Chicago. And, and so, that, yeah, that just leads to a shorthand that is still you know, something we can draw on together. And it's, uh, it's super fun and gratifying to be working with an old buddy. And Nick, your pregame speech in that episode, were you nervous? Because that was like your character's big moment through the whole series. Uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, it kind of, yeah, it did sort of, to, to a degree, feel like it was, it was sort of b- building to that, to that one moment. So, yeah, it did feel weirdly, weirdly quite emotional. When, I, when, when, when I, we first started filming, I think I'd only seen the first three or four scripts. And so... But I knew, like, Brendan and Jason had sort of filled me in in terms of where it's going to go and what it's going to lead to. So, yeah, I sort of tried to always keep that in the back of my head. But, yeah, when we kind of got to it, I was like, mm, you know, better get this right. <laughs> so, Nick, do me a favor. Ask me, who was president in 1984? Who was president in 1984? Uh, Ronald Reagan. Your cue, Brendan. The actor? <laughs> <laughs> Just setting up alley-oops over here at Jeffrey Lovick. <laughs> I two Christopher Lloyd jokes in the series because Tabor was Christopher Lloyd in Cuckoo's Nest. I got that, Brennan. I got it. When I was in high school, I was uh, I was Jim Gintowski for Halloween one year, and uh, really no one I went to school with appreciated it. I was a lone wolf on that, but I will defend Christopher Lloyd to my dying day. I was always called Martini growing up. I was always the Danny DeVito character. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. You know what I mean. <laughs> Now, finally, guys, uh, can I be a Diamond Dog? I have been working on my how, but I want to be a member of the Diamond Dog. Yeah, I mean, I think, yeah, the important thing is you got to really open your heart and be vulnerable and, uh, and let us help you with a, with a real problem. Okay, so <laughs> I'm working on my how. Should I try my how for you guys if it's acceptable? Yes, please. Oh! oh that's that? good. That's good. That's a pitch we're missing, too, you know, like somewhere between tenor and, uh, and, and alto. That's good. It's going to slot right in. And by the way, I don't think I could ever hear Lady Gaga again, especially if I'm going to do karaoke. I mean, you were just, <laughs> you were spot on. I mean, if I closed my eyes, I thought Lady Gaga was into Lasso. Yeah, I get that all the time. <laughs> Even when I'm not singing, people just get a Gaga energy from me whenever I walk in a room. And, and Nick, how did you get everybody in those small, that small car at the very first episode? I mean, England has the smallest cars known to man. It was genuinely very difficult. I think I, can't, I think there was. I think it was problematic at one point because it was the the, ca- the case that we were going to use genuinely didn't fit into the back, and then we, you know, there was, I remember it being problematic. And I remember it was quite an old car, so just to drive it was just quite difficult. I think I almost um, 
ran the first AD over as well, trying to reverse it back into <laughs> reverse it back into where it needed to be. But yeah, like that color, it was sweet. Brandon, Nick, I absolutely love the show. Thank you for talking to me today. Good luck with it, and uh, stay safe, and we'll talk again soon. Thanks, Thanks Jeffrey. You too. Cheers. Bye.